today because the Secretary of Homeland Security, uh, Mr. Mayorkas, apparently snapped out of it and realized, wait, there's like a gazillion people flooding into the country. And now they're announcing that there's an immediate need to build 17 miles of border wall in Star County, Texas, because of illegal entry. Now, this was initially announced in June. It's part of what Joe Biden, though, announced in his inauguration. Essentially, they're ending the diversion of border money from military projects and using actual money that Congress appropriated for stuff like this. Yeah, the DHS, uh, they posted this announcement and uh, outlining just where this construction would be in Star County, like you said, Steve, it's part of a very busy border patrol sector seeing very high illegal entry. 245,000 illegal entries have been recorded this fiscal year in the Rio Grande Valley sector, and that contains 21 of these counties. So everyone was shocked when they heard uh, Alejandro Mayorkas say this. He said there is presently an acute and immediate need to construct physical barriers and roads in the vicinity of the border of the United States in order to prevent unlawful entries into the United States. That is a sharp contrast yeah. to the early days of this administration. Uh, I think we're missing the whole story. Uh, this president who got in saying, I'm going to use high tech and we don't need a wall. I'm going to change these horrible policies has now found out that his policies are terrible. It has caused the biggest collapse on our border in American history. And not building the barrier is not going back to the Viking age. It is actually absolutely necessary. And the thing was, last month, we found out they were selling the wall that we paid for as taxpayers for pennies on the dollar because the Senate was beginning to move on forcing the construction of that wall. Now, Mayorkas is admitting that he's building just 20 miles of that wall. Just 20 miles. So that's going to be in desperate areas of Texas, an Eagle Pass area. But it should be 500 miles. Here's yeah. what he said. Yeah, listen, look at all that, all the, that, uh, that uh, wall that should be standing, helping our border patrol and our country. Instead, on pure political, for pure political reasons, he's selling it off in order not to be forced to build it. Here's what he said in 2020, remember. On um, build that wall. Are you willing to tear that wall down? No, I'm, there will not be another foot of wall constructed on my administration. Uh, uh, Lawrence, totally wrong. Now he's got to build it. He's got his secretary so, of state of Mexico City. He's got two mayors scrambling there. He's got Democratic governors criticizing him. He has no choice. So, Brian, that was during campaign season. Now we're at another campaign season. And now because yeah, right. it's become an election issue, they're altering their position on it. 20 uh, uh, miles of wall is a joke in the state of Texas. Do they know the terrain that we have here on the border? Uh, it's clear that the president has not visited the border because he would know that if they only put 20 miles there, that the cartel is only going to uh, redirect the migrants to go to a different direction. So, again, I, I think it is for uh, appearance only to show, hey, I am trying to do something. But at the end of the day, 20 miles of border is not going to solve the crisis that's at the southern border. Why does he not answer? Why, why wouldn't he sell the information as well as all the technology, as well as all the border fencing to the state of Texas when we tried to buy it? when it had already been paid for by U.S. taxpayers. Right. So, again, this has been not only been a president that has been <clears throat> asleep at the wheel on this issue, yeah. but he's been quite divisive as well when Texas tried to do the security <clears throat> ourselves. And sure. this is a little too late, right, Lawrence? I mean, this guy, we've already, millions and millions have come through, come over the border in the last three years since he's been president. He can't take those millions and uh, no telling where they are. They're in our country. This is too late. He should have done this in the very no. beginning. Ainsley, they're right out there. They are. They're sleeping right outside in front yeah. of all these uh, hotels here, Lawrence. And that's what Trump said. Trump told Fox News Digital, he said, Biden sees our country as being invaded. What is he going to do about the 15 million people from prisons, mm -hmm. from mental institutions, <clears throat> insane asylums, and terrorists that have already come into our country? You know, and, and Lawrence, I think you have hit the nail on the head, and that is it's all about politics. And right now, you know, there are Democrats who are uh, governors and mayors, and they are pounding this administration to do something. And in particular, the Republicans have been very effective talking about the amount of fentanyl coming into the country. There must be something about that particular area in Star County where a lot of, if I had to guess, and we don't have this information, I'm just speculating. If I had to guess, 
That's where a lot of fentanyl comes through. And so Joe Biden, who's going to be on the campaign trail through for the next uh, year and a uh, couple of months, he needs to say, you know what? We put up the wall where the fentanyl was coming in, and I've reduced the rate. Because wait, wait, he walls needs, don't work. He, he needs uh, some talking points, because right now, when we roll the video, and all the channels are rolling the video of the migration wave, Joe looks bad because the fentanyl is coming in and killing people. But they say it comes through ports of entry, number one. Number two is that that's what they claim. Number two is you can't tell everyone walls don't work, run on it, have your whole party prevent Trump from doing it, including strangling Paul Ryan saying we won't pass the budget unless you only agree to $1.4 billion, and then turn around and say one mile of wall work unless you're going to look into the camera and say I was wrong. I was wrong about what would be effective at the border, and I'm looking to uh, amend that. Also, he's taken on the environmental groups. Evidently, he's suspending 26 environmental laws in order to build that. So his environmentalists are now mad at him, and the horny toad or whatever grasshopper will no longer will be affected, or a cactus won't be able to spry up. Uh, to spring up in the or desert, a yeah, or yeah, who knows? Not many of those there. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll see what's going on. So That's this, what in California. this is just symbolically shows another reason why Trump is continuing to gain momentum. It's not something he said; it's what he did <clears throat> that turns out to be right, Lawrence. Brian, Brian, to your point, and I think it's an excellent point. People aren't going to believe that when they see kids in their communities all over not just Texas, but all over the country, dropping dead because of the fentanyl. Right. How can you sell something <laughs> that isn't working? I, I know the White House has this thing that it's all about image, but when you see the folks that are actually dropping dead in the communities, when you see the child trafficking rinks that are being advertised everywhere, even here in the state of Texas, when you see the migrants that are being camped out in communities from Chicago to Philly to New York City, Texas has been overrun. All our shelters have been overrun. So again, the pantries have been empty. Uh, the visuals just tell a different story here. They do indeed. Now, Lawrence, uh, we're going to uh, talk a little bit about politics, and uh, we're going to come back to you in a minute, and you're going to talk to the folks there, including your mother, who during the next uh, couple of minutes is going to tell you <laughs> how you did in the first uh, 10 minutes of the show, okay? Yep. Thanks, family. All right. Thank you, Lawrence. Yeah, go check with the diners. Looking forward to hearing what they have to say in the great city of Dallas. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.